Hey everybody, my name is Matt Saletti on behalf of AskVideo.com. I'm talking about Reactor 6 today, and I'm here to get you up and running in case you're brand new to this, need to understand some of the terminology, we're going to get you off to a good start. So, what is Reactor? Well, Reactor is a development environment for musical instruments and effects, and yet so much more. It's very hard to kind of pigeonhole it and say what it does, but it's honestly the most powerful product that Native Instruments makes. So on one hand, it's like the ultimate modular software system, or on the other hand, you might just know it as a simple player for some awesome synths in your complete library. It can do nearly anything, though. Let's look at just quickly some of the instruments. You might be familiar with Monarch. Right? Or the aggressive Razor synth. Right? Or the incredibly complex sequencer slash morphing analog digital hybrid rounds. Crazy. Or the brand new Reactor Blocks. 30 wonderfully useful modular blocks to basically mimic any of the most contemporary uh, hardware modular systems that are all the rage these days. Truly a delight to work with. Now, there's a couple things you need to know, a little terminology and a little understanding of the, the structure, if you will, of Reactor. And like I said, Reactor is basically a development environment. So what does that mean? Well, on the one hand, you can play just all sorts of synths. There's all these factory content synths. For instance, maybe you want to come in and load up something like Contour, which is an amazing synth on its own. Now, you might want to play some presets right away, right? Well, let's come here into the snapshots. Let me open up Edit 2 so I can actually open up this a little bit bigger and we can resize the window so we can see more screen real estate here. So first of all, you have banks inside of your snapshots. These are basically going to be the different categories of styles of instruments, most likely. So if I want to find pads and I want to find then a snapshot, which is basically a preset. <laughs> You can simply scroll through all your presets just by clicking on them. If you want to get even crazier, open up this Morph and Randomize option, and you can literally choose between multiple different presets and blend between them. Stuff gets crazy there, and I suggest you check it out. What else do you have? You have a whole factory library of legacy content that has already been around forever. For instance, if you wanted a Juno 106 style emulation there's a product called Junatic, and it's fantastic. So, let's look at this simple product called Tua. Nothing amazing to look at, but it sounds amazing. And what I want to show you is the, basically the guts of Reactor. Because you can go under the hood in edit mode and come into the structure. Here you have your panel, which is basically your, the face of your synth or instrument or whatever. And then you can come into the structure and actually build your own synthesizer however you want. You can literally right click in here and add the most minute things like a fader to a full blown oscillator or envelope or whatever you want to do. And then patch these up however you need and create your own synth from scratch. For instance, like looking at the oscillator section. You basically can break it down. So, you can literally program however you like. And it's a beautiful thing. And in fact, a lot of people do. For instance, this is one of my favorite granular synths. And it comes for free from the user library. There's a whole legion of amazing reactor builders who will go in and create instruments and effects that you can download for free once you're registered. 
I highly suggest checking it out. All sorts of interesting things. I mean, even video games, why not? <laughs> Basically, if you can think it, you can create it in Reactor. Be aware of that. A couple things to know, in order to move your way around, you have ensembles, which is the highest level, but you also have instruments. For instance, this is an ensemble called Junitic, but it's created from two instruments, the Junitic itself and another instrument called the Stereo Delay. And so under the hood, these are literally two separate instruments running to the outputs, okay? Check it out. Another thing is, if you don't know what anything is doing, you can always come over here, turn on the info tips, and you'll get hints whenever you hover over something. It'll literally tell you what something does. For instance, the level of the VCA. You can also come in here into the info view and find things out. Whenever you touch them, it'll basically give you a readout of everything. Very helpful. I suggest you get in, you dig into Reactor, you play through some of the instruments, you look under the hood, and really get in, patch stuff up, play around, and spend time with it. That's the best way to learn, as always. Thanks for watching. Enjoy Reactor.